Lesson 5.2, Properties of Rational Exponents and Radicals. Our essential question today, how do you use properties of exponents? Standard 5.2, number three, writing radicals in simplest form. So we're gonna go ahead and do these eight, the rest of the pages for you for independent practice. So the first thing that I see is that I'm trying to take the third root of 135. I need to break this up into the prime factorizations of 135. So here's my little factor tree. What two numbers multiply to give me 135? I know five and 27 will multiply together. Five is prime, 27 is not. I'm going to continue to break up 27 until I get all of the primes. So my prime factorization is three times three times three times five. Now the fact that I have a third root means I need groups of three. So here is a group of three that five has nobody to pair with. So because the group of three got two pair, they get to escape. And I am multiplying that by the third root of the five that had to stay left over inside. So my answer is three times the third root of five, and I'm done. I need a third root of 104. If I'm taking the third root of 104, then I need to prime factorize 104. So here is my factor tree for 104. Because it's even, I know I can divide it by two. So that's two and 52. Two is prime, 52 is not. It's even again, so I know I can divide by two again. So it's two and 26. Two is prime, 26 is not. I'm gonna go ahead and keep breaking it up until all my numbers are prime. So I have two times two times two times 13. Again, because the root is a three, I just need groups of three. So these make a group of three. This 13 does not make a group of three. So I have the two that got to escape being multiplied by that 13 had to stay inside the third root. So this is my final answer and I'm done. There is a root here because we cannot see it. It's the secret little root of two. So I'm looking for the second root of 24. So I need to prime factorize 24. 24 is eight times three. Three is prime, eight is not. Eight is two and four, continuing to break up eight. So my prime factorization is two times two times two times three. Because my root is a two, I'm looking for groups of two. So these got to pair together in a group of two. This two has nobody to group with, and this three has nobody to group with, so they stay inside. So this two got to escape prison. Inside my square root is left that two and that three. 2 times 3 is 6, so I have 2 times the square root of 6 as my final answer. We are taking the fourth root of a negative 162. What this means is that we are looking for something that can be multiplied together four times. So if I have the same exact number that I am being multiplied together four times and I'm getting a negative, that means I either have a positive times a positive times a positive times a positive giving me a negative, or I have a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative giving me a negative. Neither of these cases work. So the fourth root of negative 162 is no real solution. Let's go ahead and take a look at our last four. So I'm looking for the fourth root of 128 times eight to the nth power. We are going to separate the fourth root of the numerals, the coefficients, from the fourth root of the variables. So we are going to find the fourth root of 128. That means I need to prime factorize 128. So over here, I'm gonna factorize 128. It's even, so I know it's two times 64. 64 is not prime, so I know that can be broken up into two and 32. 32 is not prime, so 32 can be broken up into two and 16. 16 is not prime, so 16 can be broken up into four and four. Those are not prime, so those can be broken up into two and twos each. So 128 gets broken up into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see seven twos. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven twos. Now, why did I write my variables this way? It's because you know that you can rewrite your radicals as fractions. So I have this being multiplied by n to the, the root is the denominator, the exponent inside is your numerator. So I am looking for groups of four. 
So one, two, three, four. Here's a group of four that got to escape. There are only three here. They cannot escape. So this two escaped, be multiplied by. These poor twos could not escape. So I have two times two, which is four, times two more is eight. So the fourth root of eight staying inside the radical sign. Be multiplied by, can I simplify this fraction? What is eight divided by four? It's two. So this is n to the second power. So I have the two escaped, the end of the second power escaped. So you have two times end of the second, which is two times end of the second, be multiplied by the fourth root of eight in the end. Let's look at the next one. I need to separate the square root of 98 from the square root of k. And they are being multiplied, so it will help to put the multiplication symbol in there. Now I need to prime factorize 98. So 98 I know is even, so it's 2 and 49. 2 is, not, 2 is prime, 49 is not. So I'm continuing to break it up. So I know the square root of 98 prime factorized is 2 times 7 times 7. K has no root, which means it's a 2, and it has no exponent which means it's just a one. So this is gonna stay as the square root of k. There's no way to simplify the square root of k. Because there is no root here, that means it's looking for groups of two. It's a two. So these made a group of two. The poor two could not make a group of two. So I have the sevens got to escape. The poor two could not, and the poor k could not. So only the seven escaped, and the two and the k got multiplied and were inside the same radical. So my final answer is seven times two, the square root of two K. Next problem, I need to separate the fifth root of 224 from the fifth root of R to the seventh. So I need to prime factorize the 224. So 224 prime factorize ends up giving me two, two times two times two times two times two times seven. And then we have r to the seventh power. This is actually gives me r to the seven all over five exponent. So we have groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five. The twos all make a single group of five. The seven does not. So I have the two got to escape. The poor seven could not. He stays in the fifth root. Let's actually look at what these mean to see if we could figure out another way to simplify it. So this meant I had r seven times inside my radical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because your root was five, that meant one, two, three, four, five. These five grouped together and they could escape. These two were not. Another way to see that is seven divided by five is one and two remainder. So the one whole group got to escape. The remainders had to stay inside. So you said the two escaped. The fifth root of seven had to stay inside. You said this R escaped. And you said those two R's had to stay inside. So who escaped? The two and the r, two times r is two r. Who had to stay inside that fifth root? The seven did, and the r squared did. So this is my final answer, and I am done. Do I need to expand the r's out all this way to simplify the r? No. If you can see it doing this, see that five paired together and got to escape, and that two would have been left over, you can jump from here to here and not have to expand it. However, if you struggle with seeing it from here to here and you need to expand it, then expand it. It's a very helpful tool. Very last one. We need to separate the third root of 24 from the third root of the variables. The third root of 24, I need to prime factorize 24. That is two times two times two times three. Variables, it's helpful if we turn it into its fraction exponent. The root is the denominator. The exponent is the numerator. Because I am a root of three, I'm looking for groups of three. 
These twos made a group of three, so they escape. This poor three cannot escape. So the twos escaped. You said the poor three could not. Can I simplify this exponent? I can, it's one. So this is m to the first power. So two escaped, m also escaped. So two times m is a two m, and you still have the third root of three. There are five problems left on the page. Please do these five problems for independent practice.